Um, I have a personal mission. Um, I realized that I wasn't the best grandson. Uh, here with this woman who truly cared about me. And how did I return the favor? I, I yelled at her. I ignored her when she needs my help. But near the thing is, she was the only one that helped me when I had no one to turn to. It's sad because I didn't really acknowledge any of this until her death. My mom is still around, but we can't be in the same room together for very long. And, well, I not really talk to the rest of my family. There's your father. We don't talk too much because I don't know where he is. He went off and had a kid. Last I heard, he got caught selling heroin to an undercover cop and he was in jail. So, uh, Homeless, you don't have any money. 
something tells me you do. Oh my God, Jamie, give him the money. Here. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Hey. Okay. Did I have to tell you that there's an alcohol anonymous meeting uh, where you can go to get the best food for free? If we run, I think we can make it there in time. And it's only a few blocks from where we are right now. I'm starving. Being sick, part one. Alcohol anonymous meeting. I'm not sure about this. I'm going to change, to change my clothes. Don't worry about it, man. I don't care where you look. Trust me. Fine. Just relax. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to my little support group. Good stuff. I want to thank my wife, Lynn, for bringing me refreshment. This is January. I think it was snack. Sorry. Hey, Colleen. Thanks for the food, but hey, you didn't bring your infamous brownies. What's up with that? You just couldn't wait to eat like the rest of us, huh, Jamie? Jesus. Oh, Colleen. If you were any nicer, don't start with me, Tony. I'm really not in the mood. I've had it up to here with you. All right, let's get started. Just to remind everyone, this is that no judgment sense of no <laughs> we want this environment to be filled with liveliness and positive energy. Jamie, I see you brought a friend. Would you like to introduce yourself to the group? <clears throat> Hi, uh, I, I'm Jared. Jared. Hi, Jared. Oh, it's lovely to meet new faces. Is it Tony? Is it? Really lovely. Not now. I can see you're a tad bit uncomfortable since I put you on the spot. So I will give you a little break for now. Um, who did we leave off with uh, last time we met? Robert! Oh, God, no, please, no. Oh, God, again? I'm so sick and tired of being dragged to these useless meetings to listen to this whiny fucker. Colleen! Robert, how did you start it off? How has your journey been since I saw you? Just remember, we all love and care about you. Ha 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 ha! Go on, Robert. Well, I've made a lot of progress. I've been able to cut my stuff at drinking from five days a week to only the weekend, so that's good. Friday is included, of course. Good. Very good, Robert. We are so proud of you, aren't we, everyone? Yeah. How's your wife been these days? She was poor but in decision for a better life. Better. Did you leave the bitch or not? That's all we care to know. I didn't keep it under 20 seconds because I'll be counting. Believe me. Colleen! Let the man talk! Go on, Robert. She's been about as supportive as she can be. How does that sound? Well, like me, she's fighting her own demons. She's been diagnosed with postpartum depression recently, and it's been difficult for us, my little boy. I feel like I'm trying my best to help, but it feels like it's never enough. Tony, I, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, the new guy smoking in here, it entertains the fire of temptation for all of us here. I just, will you shut the hell up, Robert? If the guy wants to smoke, let him smoke. You know, that's a good point. Sharon, I'm trying to single you out here, but she wanted to Catty, catty, you. I don't want to have to uh, separate you two. We're 
we're focusing on Robert and he needs our undivided attention and support right now. Just wait your turn. You can go back, Jared. I can tell you're eager to share with us. <laughs> Scene 6, Part 2. With Jared and Matt. So, uh, can you fix your name? Well, the... Oh, I like the bones then. Yeah, I used to teach about that a lot in school. So, what brings you here, Jared? My friend brought me to chow down free food, pretty much. Oh my god, so you guys are just a bunch of freeloaders, huh? Pretty much. Oh my god, me too! Really? No, I'm actually a serious alcoholic. It's actually a really sad and depressing story. You like to hear it? Jared, right? You are too cute! God, let me tell you. It's been forever since I've been with the real man. <laughs> are you kidding me? I leave you alone for five minutes and you're already hitting on the gas. You guys. Alcohol to an alcohol anonymous meeting. What the hell were you thinking? Oh, God, do you ever shut up? Talk about a sad and depressing story. <laughs> that was really uncomfortable. Anyway, <laughs> have you come here before? I think so, like, yeah. <laughs> no, this is my first time, too. Well, I mean, being at the alcohol anonymous meeting. <laughs> really? They're both newbies. Tell me about yourself. What do you do for a living? Oh, that's a long and boring story. I'm more interested in what you do for a living. Well, my grandma just died. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that. I can go on so Thank you. Um, I recently got fired, so I've been looking for a job to help pay for funeral expenses. Hey, can you keep a secret? Maybe. That was good enough for me. Jamie and I, the guy sent me that, we've been hand, you know, to move before, and I know what band handling is. Wow. He's some real balls to do something like that. Well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, it's, I'd say it's more desperation. We need the money now. Maybe you can bring me along one day and see you guys in action. <laughs> really? I mean, if, if you really want to, I, mean, I could show you the road. Oh, it sounds good. Oh, I'm so tired. It's only a car. Gentlemen, let me say it. It's complete. If you need a place to crash for a little bit, my door's always open. Oh, no, I was only kidding. I mean, well, I, I do need a place to stay for a night, but, uh, but I wouldn't want to impose. No, man, it's all cool. It's my place. You can stay as long as you need. As long as you don't rob me in my sleep or anything. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, do you mind if we split? Uh, I am actually kind of tired. And... Bye, Jamie. Come and see me again sometime. Jamie, we're leaving! Wow, today is just full of surprises, huh? Oh, there's a lot you don't know 